welcome to Jackie and Ching. Uh, my name is Tom Marwick and I'm here with Philippe Pibarot from Canada. Welcome, Philippe. Uh, Philippe's group have contributed a really important paper in this month's edition of Jack Imaging that relates to the optimal means of assessing uh, TAVI procedures. Uh, Philippe, can you tell, me f tell us more what you've done with this? Yeah, well, as you know, the, the Doppler echocardiographic evaluation of uh, valve hemodynamic performance is more complex, we know, in prostate valve than in anti valves. But then, among prostate valve, it is even more complex in transcatheter versus surgical prosthesis. So we, in this study, we did a comprehensive echo evaluation of valve function uh, prior to uh, TAVI, uh, early after, uh, and then uh, six months and one year. And the main, the main conclusion of this paper is when you measure the effective orifice area of the mm -hmm. prosthesis, which is important to identify this function and, and, and prosthesis patient mismatch, uh, in, in transcatheter valve, especially balloon expandable uh, valve, because this was uh, the, the, the type of valve that we use in this study, it is preferable to measure the diameter and velocity uh, in the uh, left ventricular outflow tract just underneath the prosthesis tent. Uh, because you, uh, the, the, uh, the reproducibility and accuracy of the measurements are superior compared to if you measure uh, the LVOT diameter inside the stand, because it, it is like you have, you have two acceleration in series mm -hmm. in transcatheter valve, because the portion of the stand, as opposed to surgical prosthesis, sits in the LVOT. So you have an acceleration at the entrance of the stand and then at the level of the, uh, of the bioprostic valve leaflets. Okay, so the message here is that we should be measuring uh, essentially at the level of the aortic annulus rather than at the base of the stent. Well, essentially the, the message is uh, just underneath the stent, so at the entrance of the stent, not necessarily inside the yep. stent. Now, I think that the, that the results should not be necessarily generalized to all patients because if uh, the ventricular border of the stent sits relatively low in the LVOT, then as it may occur, especially in balloon expandable valves, uh, it might be preferable to, uh, to measure uh, inside the stent. But in general, it would be at the entrance, just underneath the stent. So the, the bigger picture here, though, really relates to what role uh, these measurements have in assessing patient prosthesis mismatch. Yeah, in particular, yeah. And interestingly, that was, I think, one of the most important conclusions of this paper, is that in this high-risk population with a very large proportion of patients with small aortic annulus, 50% of the patient in this study had an aortic annulus measured by TEE at the time of procedure, uh, less than uh, 21 millimeters. So it's much larger proportion than you, what you have in surgical uh, series. And despite this fact, well, the uh, incidence of moderate mismatch was 20% and severe mismatch 9%. So um, I think that TV may provide an interesting alternative to avoid mismatch or reduce its severity, uh, especially in Irish patients and, and, and especially those with depressed LV function. Um, be because in fact, a, a, a few years ago, well, before the TAVI era, uh, we knew that uh, mismatch had an impact on outcome and that ideally you should avoid mismatch, but mm -hmm. the surgeon had limited uh, surgical uh, procedure or alternative to avoid a mismatch. And eventually this procedure could increase the operative risk. So with TAVI, we have a procedure that optimizes hemodynamics while eventually minimizing the operative risk. Okay, so I think that there's a really important message here about the optimal means of assessing the valve area in the implanted uh, patient who has a TAVI procedure. And there may be a, a bigger picture here that relates to probably a lower risk of patient prosthesis mismatch with these devices than conventional surgery. Thank you very much for uh, being with us uh, today and I really uh, encourage you to read this important paper.